Like many other fly fishermen, we spend most of our time working 9 to 5 jobs, earning a living, while all we can do is daydream about being out on the water. So when the opportunity comes along to actually take some time and get out there, you take it and go. Coho season is typically a hit and miss fishery in terms of needing all the right pieces of the puzzle to fit together to have success, especially on the fly. You need good slow holding water that offers cover and solitude for the fish. You also need the water to be at a comfortable depth, not too low and not too clear. You need the right flies, you need the right length of leader, and of course you need willing fish. Last season we had every element needed to have success, to the point where we actually started to get spoiled. This season, however, was a lot different in terms of a lot less time being spent out on the water and having to work to find the fish when we actually did get a chance to make it out. Sometimes you get caught up in the daily grind of life and it can weigh you down. Sometimes all that is needed is to take a quick step back, make the effort to actually get out there, forget about life for a short while, live in the moment, recharge your batteries and just fish. So it's getting close uh, to mid-November and we hadn't been out uh, in quite some time. Uh, since the early coho season. So we thought we'd just take one final day, uh, get out there and strip some flies and see if we couldn't uh, get some action. You've not only got to contend against the, the weather, but you got to contend with, uh, you know, uh, other fishermen too. You don't know if somebody else has worked over those fish already. Come on! Dude, this is not fun. Our type of fishing down in this area, you know, consists of uh, dry lines and very small sparse flies. Gone. Give me your trademark. Give me your trademark. <laughs> when we finally did manage to uh, to get uh, these fish hooked up, uh, you know, right from that first one when you're stripping in that line and and all of a sudden the line tightens up and you lift up and you just feel that pull back and right then there it makes it all worth it. So uh, that was making it a little bit more discouraging, but uh, we were there and we had to make the best of it. We, uh, we were dedicated. We wanted to get out there on the water. We had a slow start to the season. <laughs> 
the wind was blowing so hard that uh, it didn't matter which way you tried to cast. Yeah, your cast wasn't going where you wanted it to. I was just, just frozen. Like, when you're standing in the water and you're trying to fish, but you're also trying to cover up your body because it's just going right through you. biggest issue and having time to actually meet up and go out together that was another major issue but uh but we did it and when we finally got to the spot and we seen fish rising it was just all other thoughts were gone that's <laughs> Just come and I drink too much But they usually come when I do And the shadows don't clear when I sing to you Cause I never sing to you Between us and the fight of a coho is amazing. <laughs> okay. Are you ready now? I'm ready. I'm good. It's out of my system. I'm good.